Let's take a look at the RoboStick, the hardware pack, how to set it up, how to use it in a tent, and of course, a couple of safety pointers. Yeah. A good place to start is with the channels on the RoboStick. Notice three are similar and one is different. Now you can put the eyelets that hold the hoods on any one of the four channels. You can also change the length of the eyelet that goes into the RoboStick so you can raise your hood if you're in a short situation or you have tall plants. Now let's put it all together. And setting it up is super easy. Just slide the bolt into the channel that it's meant for, about halfway down or 12 inches, and then lock it down. What you have to do is spin the robo stick on till it stops, back it off till it's 90 degrees, tighten the nut down, lock it down at the wrench, and there's your robo stick. And all you have to do is start moving your light and watch your yields go up. While you probably think nutrients are gonna get you more weight, let me tell you, moving them, a light mover will get you 25% more for like seven watts worth of electricity. So now, instead of your light being four feet away because you're moving it, you can put it three feet away, take advantage of the extra penetration and the extra space at the end of your garden. Remember, double your light, double your yield, double your nutrients, kill your crop. And just like a cloud coming between you and the sun, moving your light off the plant gives them a chance to cool down. Because let's say this is a 600 watt light. If you're gonna grow one pound dry under a 600 watt light, because that's what you can get on average from a 600 watt light, then you're gonna have to fill up this whole tent. Because remember, one pound dry is three pounds wet. This is a three by five tent. And if you grow buds two feet deep, you're gonna have about 30 cubic feet worth of bud that's three pounds wet or one pound dry. But you can see the light's not evenly distributed, right? So the first thing to do is turn on the mover. Now you can see that the light's gonna hit all the corners and the edges, right? But notice this one's also on a robo stick because you can see front to back, it's not getting, it's not spreading the light out the same way either, right? That's why all you have to do is turn it 90 degrees with the robo stick and you've got your whole garden covered. You know how I'm always telling you the number one problem that comes through my store and calls my helpline is too much light? Well, moving your light solves that problem. But then if you add a robo stick, woo, that makes it even better. And that's also why I always tell you, move it or lose it. Here's another reason why I tell you, move it or lose it. This is a 600 watt dimmed down to 400 watts, and you can see the spread in the tent. Again, if you turn the hood sideways, I'm gonna tighten the robo stick down. If you turn the hood sideways, you can see the change in the distribution pattern. You can see it spreads it out over a greater area with the light mover, and by turning the hood sideways, it better fits the tent. And before we go over some safety features, I just want to remind you that yield is based on light, quality on grower talent, and it takes a certain amount of space to get a certain amount of yield. You can see the light rail motor can handle even the biggest of hoods, but if we add a robo stick, I think we can do something about this space right here too. I'll show you. This is what the same hood looks like on a robo stick with the eyelets down. If you have plenty of space, this might be easier, but if you're in a tent or something with a limited amount of height, then you probably want something like this, especially if things are going good and your crop got away from you and your buds get too high because heat's going to ruin the smell of it, right? Okay, I want to show you why it's so important that you move your light. Like right now, these two lights are over these two plants. Then, as this one moves into the middle, you can see it shifts the bulk of its light onto this plant. This plant now has a chance to cool down. This plant is under the main light. <clears throat> the light continues to travel back, and now that this plant has had a chance to cool off, the light comes back on the plant. This plant gets a chance to cool off, 
And then this light will come back over this plant and this plant will get a chance to cool off. So you can put the light a little bit closer and get a little better penetration down here by moving your lights. That's why I always tell you, move it or lose it. And you get 25% more bud when you grow with a light rail light mover. 